Back in 2018, I reviewed the ShamWow, which is a SC on TV product pitched for years by Vince Offer. Now, I recently wanted to do a comparison of multi SC on TV products versus some dollar store counterparts. I went shopping and I found a, kind of a dollar store version of the ShamWow. And by the time I went shopping for a second round of them, the whole world kind of shut down and I didn't really feel like venturing into a dollar store again. So today I'm just doing the dollar store versus ShamWow comparison. If you're looking for a full review of the ShamWow, I'll link my original review below. Let's get right past the preliminaries, get to the first test. This is an absorbency test, which Vince Offer did. I also did in my first review. And let's see if the dollar store ShamWow can compare with the original. Let's check it out. This is a full-sized ShamWow. It's pretty big. This is the fake ShamWow from the dollar store called Handy Shammy. And it's not as big. It is only 16 and a half by 13 and a half. So what I've done is I've cut down a brand new ShamWow to be the same size, just to see if the absorbency is similar or not. Thickness wise, they look about the same. I'd say roughly the same. I'm gonna see how much water they can actually absorb. Now I did this test originally with a full size ShamWow and, and here's a quick flashback to how that went and how much water the original ShamWow, the uncut version actually held. There's one cup of water in there. Oh, wow, it just completely absorbed it up. Whoa, look, completely gone. Now watch the water, it's just disappearing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now we've got two cups of water in here. It feels pretty saturated. Let's see if I can go for the third cup. That'd be pretty impressive. Well, it's okay, it's starting to drip now, but I think it pretty much got the third cup picked up, but it's not able to hold it all because it's starting to drip. I didn't think it'd be fair to compare a full size ShamWow with one that's smaller, so I've got them the same size. Let's try it out. We're gonna do the fake ShamWow first with one cup of water. It's absorbing. I mean, it seems pretty saturated already. This side doesn't seem as bad, but it's, it's pretty heavy. So the fake handy chamois definitely held one cup. Let me add some more and see how much it holds. Now I'm pretty sure it's not gonna hold another cup, so we have a half a cup in here. Oh look, it's already, it's already dripping. It's already dripping. But let's see. Uh, it just kinda stalled. Nothing. I mean, I, it picked up most of it, but it's, that's just not good. Not good. So, I mean, really less than a cup probably. All right, let's try this one more time. One cup of water. And now for the real ShamWow. See how it does. All right, it held, look at this, it held one cup, not dripping. Not, not dripping. Okay, it's dripping a little bit. I take that back, it is dripping a little bit. All right, well, let's um, add another half cup and see what happens. Half a cup. I'll put the uh, dryer side down. Well, this is pretty saturated too. Maybe the, uh, maybe the fake ShamWow didn't do so bad after all. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, I, maybe it's a tie. Maybe it's a tie. I think they're actually kind of close. They, they absorbed about the same amount of water. Let's try a few more tests and see how they hold up. Test number one, it was pretty equal. So test number two, I did another demonstration that I did in my review, Vince Offer did in his commercial, which was the carpet test. Pour soda on there, place it flat, roll it up, and there's, the commercial was a little bit overhyped, I don't think. I, don't, I was never able to really duplicate what Vince Offer did but I did compare the two of these in that same demonstration. Let me show you a quick clip of the original and then on to my test of the two of them. Place it on there. You flipped it over and rolled it up like this. And that supposedly had 50% of the soda in there. Let's see. Oh, 
I don't know if that's 50%. He was using his fingers like this. Okay, it does feel pretty dry compared to this side. There is a difference. That does feel drier. I should also point out with this test and the first one, the, the point of the test is to compare equal amounts of material of the ShamWow in the dollar store, not to do a full re review of the absorbency of a ShamWow, because that's going to be different because there's so much more material in a full-size ShamWow. So I just want to keep that in mind that I realize that there's going to be a difference in results from these tests versus my original review. So disclaimer is over. Let's get back to it. So I have my dollar store handy sham. And I've got my cut down ShamWow. Now what both of those tests did was they poured some soda onto a carpet. I've got a, a rug here. Then they placed it on the spill, flipped it over, rolled it up, and Vince said that 50% of the liquid would be gone. I didn't find that to be the case, but let's see if these two perform similarly or not. Roughly the same amount. And I'm going to do the Vince Offer technique. Place it. Place it. Flip it. Flip it. And roll it. I'm pushing down when I roll it though. ShamWow. Fake ShamWow. Pretty close. I mean, they are the same size as the spill, but neither one of them overly impressive. It picked up some, but not most of it. Now let me try something else. Put the dry areas on here and see if I can get it up by just pressing. All right, still wet. Still wet, still not impressive. All right, let's see. I don't really like this demonstration very much, but... Fake ShamWow. Real ShamWow. The, the ShamWow claims to hold 20 times its weight in water. This claims to hold five times, but to me, they're holding about the same. So I think this test didn't really show a clear winner, which in that case gives the advantage to the cheaper one because it's cheaper. All right, so after the second test, I decided to kind of use them around the house. The commercial for the uh, ShamWow shows it being used in a variety of places, including windows, countertops, so that's what I did. I didn't do it on the same services, I did them on different services. So here's a montage of me using it just around the house. I've been using these for a while and I've got a definite conclusion about the ShamWow and the fake ShamWow from the dollar store. And to me, there's no difference. That's right. So if there's no difference in the performance, although the texture is a little bit different, the performance isn't, that would leave cost as potentially a determining factor. So the cost of the ShamWow is about five bucks a piece. The website, they have uh, four large and four minis. The minis are not really absorbent. They're more like paper towels, so that doesn't really count. On Amazon, you can get four of them for 20 bucks, so they're five bucks a piece. The dollar store, even though they're smaller, they're one dollar a piece. So what I did was crunched a few numbers and I tried to figure out which one was a better deal. The full size ShamWow is 20 by 24 or about 480 square inches. The fake ShamWow is 16 and a half by 13 and a half, which is about 219 square inches. The size of the dollar store ShamWow was just under half of the original. So you probably need two of the dollar stores to equal one of these. That still only costs two bucks as opposed to five, and the performance is about the same. So as far as I'm concerned, the cheap dollar store ShamWow is a better deal than the real thing. Sorry, Vince. If you get two of the dollar stores, it's almost the same size as the full size, and it's still under half the cost. Two bucks for two as opposed to five dollars for one. I think the dollar store is the better deal of the ShamWow comparison. Now, I'm sure there's people out there that love their ShamWows, that love Vince Offer, that will curse my name after this, but I'm sorry. The dollar store, to me, is the better deal. They're both good products. If you have a ShamWow, I'm sure you're pretty happy with it because I'm happy with this one. But I'm also happy with my cheapo handy ShamWow that cost me one buck. By the way, completely off topic, but I've had a couple people request for a quick update on Spooky the Cat, which has never really featured my videos. Well, Spooky the Cat, I never see because she's always in my daughter's room. But here's a quick clip of Spooky, and you can see what she's doing. You can see that she's uh, not very fond of the camera and hard to film at a tight focus because she moves around too much. 
But to answer your question, Spooky the cat is still the same as always. Look at this. We didn't have a single weed in our yard until about two weeks ago. We got some rains here, now look at this. Not good. Even Bailey's upset about it, right Bailey? Bailey, what do you think about the weeds? Uh, she doesn't care, look at her. This has nothing to do with the video, but I just want to show Bailey. But that's all I've got. What do you guys think? Am I out of my mind for saying the dollar store one's better? Do you agree that two of these for two bucks is better than one of these for five? Now be sure to follow my other social profiles on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. They're all at Freakin' Reviews for some behind the scenes and other views of some of these products I review. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.